I'm gonna go live. Right, go live. Quick fetch up my balls here. Just one camera, gotta be careful. Much easier when you're off camera, you can. Exactly. On the on the phone or the, the, the on the the stick of truth on Welcome Land the Fractured Butt. Wait, go live. Okay, let's have a listen to this one. Off camera, you can oh, I think that might be working. Exactly. Uh, right, are we? So we are live. Uh, can you guys hear us better than you heard us before? Are we a bit clearer? Take away from that the, fucking the Steve. Honestly, <laughs> 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 oh, it's fucking wrong. Take away from that fucking Right, uh, for those in the chat room, can you hear us? Okay. We will see. Uh, once we have confirmation that we are coming through loud and clear, uh, we can get shit finally started. Oh my sweet. What is it with dropping that fucking microphones? You're as bad as the bloody apprentice. Uh, so yeah, clear in my note. Oh fuck. Lewis Donald says no sound. You better be joking, Lewis Donald. I'll tell you right now. Um. Yep, okay, okay, here we go, live as fuck, we're good to go, right. Anyway, enough fucking pissing about. What do you mean, fucking, before we start? Don't be showing me things on your phone before we start. We're late as it is. Poor Steve's nearly dying here. Why are we speaking this right now? Okay, show me, quickly, wait, what's, 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 what's that? Okay, right. Sorry about that, folks. About that. Uh, right. <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> now that we've stopped fucking around, let's get this fucking show on the road, I suppose. Hey, here we go. Fucking hell. This is Dogcast Bastard Radio. Come gather round all ye bastards and raise up a cop to the stars. <laughs> Oh my good god, what a fucking hassle getting this episode of DHB 227 to go live. We've had nothing, and I'm telling you right now, this is where I have a rant at the start of the show. I'm fucking sick and tired of this bastard Jim Patience fucking laptop. This fucking thing again has shot the bed. Levin We've had to reset twice. The sound, but the fucking nothing works in the damn thing. The stu- I'm going to take this fucking... In fact, well, listen, if you work for an insurance company, turn away right now because I'm going to take this laptop and I'm going to wing it off a wall and say that, you know, a student in the house and claim it on the house insurance, get a new fucking laptop. I'm just fucking... I hate the fucking thing! Anyway, how are you Scott, guys? Scott, just Scott stand have, have a chocolate. You're not yourself I don't want you a don't have a chocolate. fucking chocolate. I'm your, off it. Your blood sugar. Shush now. Uh, hello, folks. Welcome to episode 227, like we said, of the DHB Radio Show. I am, of course, your bestest friend in the whole wide world and captain of this ship, Hi. Scott Taylor. Hi. I'm joined by some wonderful people. Uh, well, I say that because um, they're very close to me. They can hit me. Uh, we have, uh, as usual, Lurch Monster. How are you doing? I feel uncomfortable at main hoose now. Do you really? You were shouting. I was. Sh- I'm just. I, I'm just. I'm. <laughs> do you know when you quietly boil and you're trying to put a straight face on, saying I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm not going to freak out, I'm okay. And I'm, I just want to grab things and headbutt things and chew things. Fuck that headbutt, maybe we are like. Well, I'm not going to headbutt my other guest, of course, Steve Asaurus, another host here, of course, tonight. Steve Asaurus, welcome back to the show. Hello. It's very good to see you again. It's a night. Oh wait, no. What? No, not yet. No. <laughs> uh, Sorry, so it took folks, that long to get going. Steve, thought, Steve you know. I am, I'm more excited about, hanging, about having you on the show than I have many guests for a while. Because you haven't been around for a while. You've been hiding away. You've been uh, living the quiet life. I have nothing to tell you. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> what have you been up to, Steve? Nothing. You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Give, I like listening to the whole shows is when you'd hear a guest on and you go, um, you'd introduce the new whoever the guest was. Yes. And you go... And how are you, fucking like smart one? They go, not bad, Scott. How are you? Yes. And you go, I'm just fucking telling you. And then the next person, you go, oh yeah, not bad, Scott. How are you? How are you keeping? Ah, oh, I just, just fucking, fucking told you. you. It just shows you how polite they are, though. 
They're it's lovely. a very British thing to do, isn't it? Isn't it really? How are you, sir? Oh, yes, fine, thank you. Yourself? Fabulous, I'm yourself. Fine, thank you. Yourself? Uh, but, uh, uh, fine, thank you. You? It's <laughs> when you serve a customer and they'll go, they'll say, how are you, butcher? And you go, I'm not bad, thank you. And they'll go, aye, how are you? I'm not bad. And then they'll say, I'm not bad, how are you? You fucking ass, man. It's, it's when they do the thing where you say, or you're trying to sell by saying, oh, how are you doing? And then they go into their life story, and you're like, I wasn't really caring. Fucking how you're doing, to be fair. I just, I just wanted to right. say you hi tell and Tell five items you're wanting to get fucking me show up, please. Because you've got a problem with this, Larchie, I believe. We've mentioned before in previous shows where, you know, listeners of the show especially will come in, um, Stu McDonald, and so can speak to you for fucking two hours oh, about he, their life stories. Stu made me fudge the other day. He made you fudge. He made me and Scotty some fudge for Christmas, and we gave it away because we were too scared to eat it. It's it, we, we've never had fucking fudge. Who uh, the fuck's our fudge? Where's I our know, but the fudge, fudge the right? Fuck? But the fudge, he drew like a little caricature on it. Oh, a guy like with a willy, and the willy had sort of white stuff coming out of it. So I teen that as like he's maybe had a wank into this fudge, oh, and he's trying yeah. to tell us something salty. Mm. Mm. That's yeah. salted caramel fudge. <laughs> did, did you know? And, and of course, we're going to go a little Stupid bit into kind of the. Uh, loves to punch his wife, though, does he? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But, well, no, I mean, uh, I've heard more. With his fist. Of <laughs> course, a few shows ago, we met a new uh, guest called uh, Matty. Matty, Matty Monster. Matty. It turns out Matty uh, knows uh, the, uh, Stuart Donald. Hey. He knows him from many years ago. Matty Tutty. And, and isn't a fan. Who's he Seemingly. I think they've had previous beef, oh. seemingly, in the past. I don't know beef about what, but they've had beef. Fuck, it'll be awkward if they're in a shop together. Oh, and I go on here, turbo shite. <laughs> turbo. <laughs> Imagine how much beef they'll have then. I know, eh? <laughs> Matt, he'll just stare at him at fucking rapey. You know when he gets that stary rapey? He out, does that a lot. See, I don't know see, who this is. well, this guy, it's Matt, he's been on the show before. Yeah. And he's, he's, yeah, I don't watch. He's this. from, <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, like a fan. On it. <laughs> this is a man who. This is uh, shite. Turn it off. <laughs> he's got like proper kind of murder rape eyes, and uh, like he'll just stare at you. He'll, he'll zone out. And stare at you, and you you, you you can feel your soul being sucked from your body he almost. He sounds like fun. He's, He's a strange man. Fine as fuck, right? Why? He was in. Why on, did you have him on? He was, at, he was in on Tuesday. He, he brought my bottle of bucky. Hooch. Bottle he, of hooch. He bought you a bottle of hooch. Mind when he came here, he brought me some hooch. Did he? I'm concerned but, um, it's going to be like laced. Probably. But um, he, <laughs> he was in and he was speaking about how he wants to tie you up in a cupboard. Oh, and yes. And just throw a tangerine off you. Constantly, a tangerine off me. So he just wants to get a tangerine and just keep throwing it at him while he's tied up. He and, he, and he was telling me these things, right? And I'm fucking. Uh, I wasn't looking at him. I was laughing, right? Terrified. I was just laughing. That's a <laughs> because you don't know if he's joking or being serious. But he was saying, so far with these, I just tie a tailor cunt up right in my cupboard, <laughs> and I would fucking throw a tangerine at him constantly, right? And I'm laughing, but then I turned and I caught his eyes, and it was just that. Thousand yard fucking. Oh, yes. I'm being fucking deadly serious. I mean, I told you before about how he threatened to, uh, like, he said that to beat someone my size and to kill me. <laughs> that's a good steer, by the way. Is Hurt your eyes. What, what you do seemingly is uh, you heat up Vaseline and then. That's what you're not torch off, is he? Uh, no, fucking hell. <laughs> is you heat up Vaseline seemingly and then you sw- give it a wee swirl so it's all kind of lubricated and then you heave it in the fat man's eyes. So, of course, I can, I can kind of see, but I can't properly see, because my eyes are full of burning Vaseline. So, all I'm seeing is a, a, a figure running around me with a small blade, just cutting occasionally. You see, I'm, I can't get him because I'm, I'm, you know, hazy Vaseline eyes. Fucking this is the kind of man he is. He thinks about these things, about ways he can dispose of my body. You know, it's, it's He looks fucking... like Ed Norton from someone American ex- History X. Someone explain how, how you got to know, where did this guy come from? The mill. The, yes, Someone you work my with. work, when yes. When you see he comes yeah, from the mill, it sounds worse. It sounds like someone Does he work fucking... downstairs by any chance? Well, he should do, I'll yeah, tell so you. He's in the basement. <laughs> oh, he's on the forklift now, is he? Now? He's got a new job, yes. He's on the forklift. He's, he's been... going to fuck about his car, won't he? <laughs> I'm going to fuck, I swear to fuck. If I find I'll my car inside. I'll lift that cunt Taylor's car <laughs> up. <laughs> Stare. <Fucking hell. laughs> Far be it for me to cast judgment. Part of me wonders if he's maybe just a bit slow in the uptake. You, you know, think so? I think he's on the spectrum, to be honest He's with definitely on the spectrum. Maybe. I mean, not quite as far in the spectrum as, say, The Apprentice is, for example. He's, he's pretty well. Oh, he's the spectrum. He's the spectrum, he of course. Spectrum, Aye, but Matt is certainly on there. You know, he's the, also on Grinder. He's what? He's on Grinder. He's not on Grinder. You can show him, eh? Matty Tatty. He's he, not on Grinder. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's one of them. He was, he was showing me his Grinder account. He says, that cunt, I'll take him into my house, I'll let him soak my bob, and then I'll cut him. What? Hmm? 
you super like him folk in his ground. <laughs> he's <laughs> something there, right there. Eh? He's yeah. all about taking folk home, getting a wee suki suki, and then cutting them. Because he's on the the T fives as well, and the the bodybuilding supplements. Oh, he's, he's on a he's on a whole kind of bulking up. That this is a man who's built like a racing ball. snake, mm. okay. but in his head he's built like John Matrix on Commando. You know the the, the white vest and yeah. the log over the shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Do you know what his stare looks like? You know the guy with the mohawk in the assless chaps from Mad Max Two. Yes, a lot of like him. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, right. I think he wouldn't mind another guy riding, uh, bitch on, uh, his, <laughs> on his chopper <laughs> with his assless chaps. It's just not right. And his warm Vaseline. Warm Vaseline. You know, warm so that, Vaseline. Upstairs. I think I'm quite a forgiving person for for people who are not like me. You know, because generally I tend to just hate people who aren't like me. But I'm kind of uh, like you know what, each to their own. Do your own thing. Just keep it the fuck away from me. You know, cause are you finding though, Steve, that this is getting more pronounced as we get older? Where we're just like fucking nowadays, I'm everything like, fucks fuck me off, off these days. And a half, just everybody. And a half. Fuck it right used off. to be I was far more accepting of idiots and half wits, and these days it's like just fuck off. Luckily, yeah, see, luckily at my work, wonderful. I'm in a very kind of um, segregated area where it's, uh, <laughs> I work in a fucking flatty a lot. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. I'm, I've got my own little space, you know, no one bothers me, I'm hidden away, so I don't have to do... Because the thing is, the problem is with, when you work in a kind of factory, you'll know us, Steve, as well, of course, when you work in a kind of factory or kind of workshop environment, you know, everyone, they all want to, everyone's battering away, but it's always about either football or Brexit, of course, is a big one now as well. I used to work with a bunch of cunts, all they wanked on about was golf. I can't think of anything more boring than golf, oh. other than talking about golf. Fuck off. Smackle more likes golf, does he? Does, does he? he? That explains a lot. <laughs> does he like golf? Loves a bit of golf. Damn, yeah. How does he like golf? He'll, uh, I've Next never seen played... Smackle more playing golf in my life. He's got golf sheen. He looks like a cunt has got a golf glove. Really? He's probably That's got a... Chris Mathers has a golf glove. Oh. A golf glove. Oh, he's, golf glove. he's never getting to my shop again. Exactly, you should ban him. For those of you listening to the show live, of course, this guy Chris Mathers, I, 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 don't, know that, I, I don't know who he is. But he's obviously a regular in the shop, and he's a friend of yours, Steve, I believe, Yes, as well. well, I mean, I associate, you know, I don't want to pick him up too much. I'll find our money, you can. I, I believe he's, actually a top bloke, to I be believe he's been a poorly chap, Yes, you said. Yes, he's, Because, he's, he's, I, I bring it up because, of course... We're speak, all poorly. Speak, well, kind of, yeah, we're all falling apart. That's a good segue. Gone are, well, yes, gone are the days where we were, you know, in our younger, more prime-filled days. I think if I, I think we're approaching, like, our seventh birthday for fucking DHB in, like, like next month. Or the end of this month, you know. Can we get a bike? Seven or eight, or is it seven or eight years? It might even be eight years, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, we've... Sure uh, I ten shows in the eight years, of course, <laughs> but that's a bit... But um, I'm still in my twenties. Fuck you. We used to be fucking vibrant and full of life and party and drinking and healthy. No, but full of tablets. Well, full of tablets. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. I mean, there's yeah. your tablets, Archie, for your massive feed. You know, because you're fucking I'll cleanium. Fucking come on, like a planetoid. I will come you know, over Steve, Steve, <laughs> Steve, don't laugh too hard because you've got a dodgy ticker. Yes. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you <laughs> folks know there. Can, can we can we speak about this, Steve? Your angina. Steve, with a broken heart. Can we make a fun of and all this your... isn't a wife joke. I swear to God, I have a broken heart. <laughs> We're not still milking that one. We're not milking that one anymore. But you've genuinely had a broken heart. Yes. You've had like a. I don't know you've if had I a genuine bona fide stroke. He's like an. Uh, Fizz the yeah. Banker at Extreme. He's like an extreme song. Like yeah. an extreme song. Wholehearted. Oh, oh, right. oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that was shit as fuck. So you've had <laughs> get the funk out. Get the funk out. Good call. So you, I mean, you've had or recently had a fucking stroke. Yes, a I fucking stroke. I had, I had one before you ruin. <laughs> oh, oh, I noticed no. your belt was undone. It was a bit uh, weird. Yeah. Watching Mad, Mad Max. Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so but you've you had reach that peril. Quite a fucking bad time of things. Yeah. Weird. Yes. 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 So what happened? But I had a stroke. <laughs> I, it's it's the weirdest thing. I was at work um, doing my thing. I just uh, I don't know what it was. I went to my job and just got really confused. I'm like, I couldn't work out what I was supposed to be doing. It was the weirdest sensation. Should I need be pooping? <laughs> Should I be in a poop break? <laughs> Should I be pissing myself? <laughs> so I was like, Studio I went to one of my colleagues to ask him a question face. because I, I couldn't work out what I was supposed to be doing. And in my head, I knew what that I knew I was supposed to be doing. But I, I just couldn't work it out, and I was getting really confused. And I thought, this isn't right. I'll go speak to one of my colleagues. So I went over to him, Callum, 
in my head I'm saying, Callum, I don't think so. I think something's wrong here. Right. Can you look at this? But clearly I just spoke utter pish because the look in his face said it all like, what the fuck? What has this guy just said? He said I was making up words. Didn't even, oh. weren't even English. And I was like, oh, fuck. So, uh, Shit. You, you was say. channeling him stuttering. I yeah. was going to say, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm having a permanent stroke. So, yeah. Uh, first aider got involved, took my hospital and all of them. So, I think um, the official... Actually, did the what did they first... Go, I, know, I was going to say, bring his little bag. what did they do? <laughs> you know, they were trying did to, they bring in their pamphlet? They were trying, uh, trying to get me out of the Fees, action, fast, uh, sets, fast, fast. <laughs> uh, they were actually really good. They were trying to get me aspirin straight away. Okay. Because he obviously twigged what was going on. And then he took me straight to the hospital. Didn't even bother when I'm just just in the car, eek, away. Um, but by the time we got to hospital, I'd kind of came round again. Uh, but for about six weeks, I was struggling to get words out of my mouth. You know, I like they'd sit in the tip of my tongue and I couldn't speak. You, you know, were stuttering. you were proper spark mouth for a while there oh, as well. It was awful. And not to be a cunt about it, but you know, you were worse than me for a good <laughs> while there too as well. Revenge Steve, is sweet. Steve, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, speaking the I'm fucking sloth of the goonies. I ever said to you. can finally eat I soup. Know. No, just, don't, don't take it back. Just redirect it. Oh, yeah. see. Okay. Uh, but but I mean you've you've had like ongoing effects where yeah. even though time has passed now you still find yourself if you're tired your yeah. your words get all slurred and kind of sloppy yeah, and, and um, I mean like today was particularly bad my memory's been quite shocking this afternoon my not two pound I'll this morning you know that like, forty pound I gave you last I week remember that. <laughs> <laughs> no it's um it's, I wouldn't even say it's my memory it's just uh, I don't know how to describe it it's like little thing it's just really weird I don't know I can't I can't. Let's not stress him out. Yeah, let's not stress him out. me before I just blue screen I'll, and pass out. Wait, I ain't got any answers. Stop asking him uh, questions for fuck's sake. If I give you Viagra, it's, no. it's, it's the weirdest thing. I don't, I don't suppose I know how to describe it because, you know, I'm a spastic and I've lost my memory. Um, <laughs> at least you can park close at a Tesco now. Well, that's well, a good point, yes, I <laughs> so, am. <laughs> so the, the, basically, the, the, the doctors were like, right, See, when you walk in your car at Tesco, do you, like, drag one leg? Those <laughs> people go, oh, he's, he's a, yeah, he's spastic. Uh, yeah, the fucking Kaiser Sosa here. He deserves his blue badge. You know, <laughs> shouldn't no. stop the damn match. When you when you drink tea, it'll pour like once in your face. Oh you know? shit! I oh, fucking hell! You know, like <laughs> so you find box. yourself on my phone going, stop the damn match! <laughs> so cold, so, so cold. cold. <laughs> He's broken in half. Oh, he didn't get right. No, the score oh, side. The yeah, TRU. That's a TR reference. Poof's game. <laughs> Sorry, that was pause. Poof's game. Um, so. <laughs> So yeah, well. the uh, the doctors have had a prod and a pro- poke, and they work, worked out that I have a hole in my heart. Oh um, right! So there has been the, the way your heart works. That's fucking terrifying. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, so the way so the there's heart a hole works. Hole in my heart yeah, that can yeah. only be filled by you. You've oh. got like a, a couple of uh, parts to your heart. Uh, one pumps blood into your veins oh, and it goes pump. round your yeah. veins and obviously collects all the shit, oh, sure, yeah, and it comes yeah. back up, and it goes to your lungs, which then filter out any clots and pish like that. And then it'll go back up to your heart again, it'll get pumped into the artery side, and then it goes up to your brain and round that way. That's fucking okay. So this That's this amazing. hole in my heart let <laughs> let the dirty blood, which would have had a clot in it, through to the artery side before it could be filtered. Right. Which then let a clot up to my head, which then made me spaz out. Uh, but they've what? done scans and stuff. The worst part of it was I had to deep throat a camera. But because I'd driven myself there and had to drive myself home, I wasn't allowed to take sedation. Oh, so no. So I basically just had to, like, gag on this camera. And every time he moved it, I thought it was going to bulk. It every, was... every every person you've ripped, every time you've ripped the piss out of him for being a stutter. I know. Every last that you've rammed your cock in the throat. Oh. Nobody does that because it's, it's, not, not, uh, it's not long enough to reach the tonsils, let alone get down the throat. <laughs> so. <laughs> Fucking car, hey, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty gross. Pretty hard. For about three days afterward, afterward I was just a bit kind of like, oh, what the fuck just happened to me? That uh-huh. was horrific. Jeez. So, I mean, obviously... Did you say, Mark, you do the dishes that night? It's your turn. <laughs> what are you caring? <laughs> so what are the options now then for getting this fixed? They, I mean, I know that they can do like open chest, like fucking... I can so, yeah, so, video games. I could get you a good pig's heart. Mate. Well, I was right. going to say, if you're needing a man to cut you open professionally... We've yeah, got I a butcher. Homer. Yeah, but he's not, he's not like, you're not well versed in sewing them back up, are you? I can you cut know. the fuck at you, baby. Yeah. I've got a good kinchin needle and a nice bit of tow. Oh, you something tow. You could have green and white, blue and white, Lovely. red and white. <laughs> Stitch my back here, they're looking like, where's all bloody gummage? <laughs> now, um, so the options, I think what they're saying is uh, they may just manage it with medication, which would right. be blood thinners, which would mean I would be perpetually cold about the toes and fingers, which I fucking hate just now. Right. Um, or they could go in and do like keyholes, so they go in while we fucking 
I don't know what the fuck it is, but they go in through my a vein in my leg, oh! and they go oh! up to my heart and like plug this little hole. Do they not go into the groin? Yeah, somewhere down there. Oh! Um, oh! At least they've got room to work. Do they do they keep you awake for this whole thing? Do they or do they knock you? I've got no Fucked idea. If I know, I didn't ask. Um, and if that if that's not an option, there's open heart surgery. Oh Jesus but Christ! Given that, well, actually, it's not even a hole in my heart. We worked the the last scan; they discovered it's a flap. Right. So the flaps. Yeah. Flap. So they might just I don't know. They might just pl- you've got a flap know. in your heart. Oh, that's so cute, isn't it? Just the flaps in your heart. flaps in your heart. Oh, baby. Yeah, I see what you did there. But I see what see how <laughs> see how last time we had a show, you gave my present. Yes. Oh, I am gifting Steve. Oh, my oh that's nice. Pop. It's coming for his back pocket. That's not a good sign. Oh, no, that's, I'm excited. What's Steve, what's I, have, I will give you something. some toe warmers. Toe warmers? Oh. Oh. And some hand warmers. What a fucker. My special pal. That is, what a treat. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you can put him in your little slippers. They're well going to do my punts. Uh. So, <laughs> if you have to go in for the fucking open chesty heart surgery, do you know if can the theatre is... Well, no, I was going to say, yeah. do, do you know if they have a viewing gallery? Oh! Can we do a show? Oh like when you get my your, god, like, like when you get your MOT done. <laughs> yes, board. exactly. I've no idea. We'll sit there with our wee cups and S coffee, you know, from the Look movie machine. Stream it on Facebook. <laughs> you know, flick through the Gardener's World magazine, the table, <laughs> while browsing, and here's your beard. Oh my, we could do a show! Like Brilliant. Oh Brilliant. And a wee peruse through the magazines. Oh, see, Kerry Katona's up for Mum of the Year again. Is it like, you know, when they have a spit shield on a buffet, you know, where you kind of... Because, I mean, I'm totally going to try and wing like bits of paper. Steve, good luck. The crumpled cup over the fucking top and yeah. trying to get in the cavity. But no. Uh, Holy shit. You leave things in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, oh my God, can we like... Oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> See, can we pay the... Steve, d- you're looking a bit chest. Live commentary on it. <laughs> live commentary. Yeah. Oh my God. That would be, uh, talk about the views. Talk wait, about the fucking shares. Waiting for them to take that crucial moment where they're just getting in with a scalpel to make a vital cut. And you're like... Welcome, people! <laughs> nice and loud, <laughs> booming through. Ah, fuck, Jesus I'll, Christ. I'll break out my, my, my very best, yet worst fucking Brian Blazer. Hello! <laughs> that Good day! Steve, you can't sneak in a hop, you'll be too busy fucking about with that laptop for 45 minutes. I just... You'll, be, no you'll be out and fucking... You'll, you'll be getting your stitches out by the time he's got that laptop See, running. See, this is what happens when you when you trust a, 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 a known fucking cat murdering alcoholic you see to sell you a fucking laptop you know that fucking object oh honestly scott don't worry uh all the th- all the things work and uh, it's oh great condition everything works fucking i may, I may have you inadvertently fucking, spilled a tin of skull over you it though fucking moggy mangling flea riddled fucking unicum drinking bastard but that's, I'm just fucking Crunched raging. Off. It was that all oh, fuck. Oh, no. Lovodo. Oh, no. Is that any one of the cats? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's, let's look for their Facebook page and see. Fucking tell. I'm just fucking. Whoa. I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> Dumb with a shit. Is he in the Honestly. Chat? I couldn't care less. No, he's out now. Fuck him. <laughs> No, because he's probably been kicked to his flat for not paying his bills with his fucking GoFundMe. Oh, pay my fucking rent. Fuck off, you drunk bastard. I'm sorry, that's too far. That's just too far. I'm fucking just. The he's said, just. The man said so many He's just away. fucked me off. I'm just. I'm <laughs> fucking rage fueled. Don't even fucking laugh. It's so, not even funny. So these magic beans that God you bought. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck exactly. Oh, John. So Jack, how's your your uh, previous show fucking time been? <laughs> <laughs> Bought any more bean stocks there? Oh, <laughs> fucking! I'm telling you, so Scott, I've got this wrapper here. Honestly, it's got four G. Would you like to buy it for two hundred earth pounds? Four G. Fucking four G. Believe it or not, these hand warms, warmers, and toe warmers are actually bitcoins. Uh, really? I will sell you one. <laughs> I'd probably believe it as well. Get a plant oh, and get a fucking bush. This is actually a toe coin. Would you like to coin. buy shares in a flappy heart? Well, <laughs> one careful owner. <laughs> I'm just, oh, just fucking rich. So, did you so, get time off work? I had a few days. A few days. I used it to a change a gearbox days. in a car. <laughs> it's just fuck. You're off with a stroke and a hole in your heart, and you're fucking changing a gearbox in a car. Well, I needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> Things you do when you've got family. I mean, okay. Responsible Hell. parent and all that shit. See, now. if you do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, right. cat letter boxes, I'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Cat letter boxes. <laughs> and just, well, you know, Google help. Oh, yes, of course, I. No. I, I, I mean, of course, make sure they're fleed. Because, mm. you know, otherwise, you'll kill kittens. 
You know, you can have that happening. They're you know, all spade anyway. So fucking fleas okay. everywhere. Sorry, end jokes are plenty. We're doing that end joke. Where's, where's the end joke fucking music again? Let's, I'm going to find that bastard. Okay, my is. I don't even know where it is anymore. I haven't used this fucking... It doesn't matter because you don't have speakers in here, so only uh, you hear it. That's the whole point. Phones, but it and the listeners radio. fucking hear it. I might just put my phone back on so I can hear what's going so on in that sound fucking pad. angry, I tell you. You be careful operating heavy machinery now. <laughs> <laughs> Not operating, Scott. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, fat joke. Oh, ah. we're only fucking twenty-five well, minutes in the fat joke already. There it goes, busy. There goes one. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here we go. I went to press on that. Go for it. <laughs> pick a button. Pick, pick a button. button. Pick, pick a button. button. Pick a button. What have we got? Why are that? But again, tap it. There you go. That's probably not going to get stuck. Oh, I do have news actually. I've got the best news now. Okay, well, you're pregnant. No, no. Right. Um, I just want to ask. Right. Who is? Uh, oh, fuck's his name now. <laughs> Don't know. Come back to me. Uh, <laughs> Logan Paul. Who the Holy fuck shit. is Logan Paul? Oh, this fucking YouTube sensation. Oh my god! I just. Uh, oh. Why does it happen? Why are we right. giving this hell no. end time? So no. Here's what. I <laughs> know you. Um, we're not going to give him time. Maybe he's actually. Fuck it. Here's what fucks me off. Right. Right. Well, now, I'm quite. I'm going. I'm quite a YouTube. Okay, I'm quite a YouTube fan. You see, I do enjoy a bit of the old YouTubes. I subscribe to quite a few channels, be they comedy ones or gaming ones or kind of funny, you know, or real kind of life ones as well. But you know how in the YouTube app now or on TV you get like a trending tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never go near the fucking trending tab. No, Steve. no, because it's all mints that we teeny boppers are it's looking just, at. Just it's like, oh, here's a here I am unbagging some makeup that I bought today. Uh, come, but these get fucking thousands upon views. Oh yeah, reviews. Reviews are like fucking. Oh, I'm a vegan and I don't eat meat, so I'm gonna oh try this God. alternative grown fucking cabbage that was born born out of fucking sin. Yeah, exactly. Like, fuck off, you hippie cunt. Here's my thinly it. sliced fucking cabbage, which looks. Like, I call it cabbage steak. Get oh, fucking wise. I read. Uh, what was it fucking Marks and Spencers doing fucking cabbage steak for two for like two pound per steak? A sliced bit of cabbage. A fucking... So you've got these people who who blog and vlog and stuff, and they have like they make up like un or, or they, they go out and they buy makeup, and then they un they unbox it on the camera, and people are glued to this shit. I can understand you've it, but got, like technology like oh yeah this is the new fucking iphone million let's fucking, have a look at it yeah. exactly you know no. there's some there, i saw Makeup. i saw a fucking blog or a video story that had uh, upwards of like two million views and it was somebody who went shopping at poundland and was opening their poundland shopping Genius. oh look and here's a pack of five biros for a pound for a pound <laughs> yeah. you know excellent fucking what are you people watching so this logan paul character is one of these uh, kind of young former Vine kind of star seemingly, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's now on um, on YouTube. Him and his brother Jake Paul are both yeah. different YouTubers. If you are unaware who this guy is, don't Google him. Don't Google him. Not worth because it because they're the worst people imaginable. It's this generation of fucking YouTubers are like, here I am being obnoxious, and I'm I'm gonna go out in the street and. Call people fat and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a million and five views. Fucking what is wrong yeah. with the fucking world today? I mean, don't get me wrong. We've done some stupid shit. I'm on videos, yes. though, perhaps, you know, Correct. during shows or in our, in our younger days. But but it wasn't just rude and offensive for the sake of being rude and offensive. Well, exactly. It was maybe a side effect that so was this, rude and offensive. I don't know if you've heard, but this guy, this guy Logan Paul, went to Japan. Yep. And in Japan, there's a famous... Hanging uh, out in the forest. Hanging out in the forest. Mm. A, a well-known... <laughs> there's a well-known suicide forest. Yeah, yeah. They, fil- they find somebody hanging dead. Yeah. And they're filming it for... And they're laughing and joking and... Oh, f- faking and being shocked. Oh, so shocked. And they post online for, for fucking likes. And you just, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Yeah. You know? I mean, if it had been me, I'd have been like, better turn this off, phone the police. <laughs> well, exactly. Maybe do an aftermath vlog. <laughs> let's let's not post this video, but no. maybe, maybe you know, to, to, to calm us in, we didn't record this because we found somebody dead. Yeah. You know, in respect for their family. It, what the fuck is wrong with people right now? It's all, you know? It's. <sighs> there, there was a video I saw, Steve, today. Of a fucking a, a mummy blogger, right? A mummy oh, blogger. Oh, they're the worst. I fucking hate these mummy blogs, <laughs> right? Do you, the, <laughs> fucking... do you not remember the link I sent you, the guy on Instagram? No. It's a local Aberdonian guy. Who, who yes! He's some sort of like dad vlogger. Oh, Absolute fuck fucking man. nib. So, well, this, this mummy <laughs> blogger, uh, I believe it's, I'm, I'm not going to say her name, 
but has a video up that's like, hey, I've had lots of requests about uh, my morning makeup ritual. So here's a video of me taking my make or no, taking my make my cleansing ritual in the morning. You know, and, and be sure to like and share and blah blah. And and so the thumbnail is her in the, in the on the bed wiping her face with a wet wipe, right. and you know beautifully tanned legs all hanging out and stuff and oh look at me and I'm f- and fucking probably thousands of views wise up go and look after your bairn you, this is a mummy prick. who has given up her job her husband I believe as well has given up her job his job offshore so that they can live off the money they make from her blogging about, and it's, it's mundane shit it's like oh today me and the kids were out today having a wee shop the shop, well, walk the shops and we, and we bought a, a, a paper two papers in fact hashtag blessed hashtag god you know hashtag it's the modern, sunshine it's the modern what day the equivalent fuck? of uh, do you remember uh, reflections yes we, I think we used to mimic that on the show didn't we <laughs> we did yeah. yes that's right uh, reflections ah oh, yes I was staring at a stream the other day <laughs> I know. And I had a stroke. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I, st- I started one. I started this blog, uh, Doc is Dad, which you'll find on Facebook. Look for Doc yeah. is Dad. Uh, but it is, it's it's almost like a parody of these blogs. I, I try and keep everything stupid and daft and, like, funny videos or funny, like, I like to write shit, you see. So I write a lot of long fucking blurbs. Really? About, I know, you I like know. to write? I tend to, I tend to ramble, you see, with these well, things. Yeah, but, I mean, how long did your book take? <laughs> So, words on paper? rather than spam my own fucking page, you I set up the blog instead, you see, and that was that. What the fuck is this cunt doing? What the fuck? <laughs> Why is up? What the... <laughs> is that a Robotnik outfit? Oh. <laughs> Here's me thinking you're Dr. Robotnik. <clears throat> How the fuck do you expect my beard like this? Uh, what's up? Like, uh, buy me book. <laughs> Oh, this is fucking Dodgers, boys. <laughs> oh, <that's> just, <laughs> <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck is why going did you, on here? Why have you put your t-shirt on? What oh, the I fuck is going on here? I don't want to be exposed. <laughs> for for those of you who aren't watching the live video, <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking ginger hair, man. How do you cope with such ginger hair? <laughs> for those of you. <laughs> For those of you who are watching, who listen to the listen podcast. To the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck is happening right now? <laughs> Did you, it's your duply dangler. <laughs> <laughs> I work in the mill. Oh, hey. I this laptop I bought for gym patients is <laughs> fucking shite. <laughs> so Lurchie is basically you. <laughs> Sleep. Go for so much money. Oh my god! He's got a fucking sleep. fake sleep as well for fuck's sake. Amazing. Are you shitting me? Is that you stuttering or just getting oh, the hair out of your mouth? I think it's, I think he stutters because his moustache is too big for him. <laughs> oh. like, like Uncle Picos. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, my t- Sorry, oh, I'm exposing my titties here. Okay. <sighs> Brilliant. Scott, so, on this oh. subject... Right. I'm, so, em- I'm so embarrassed. For those of you watching the, or listening to the podcast feed, he, he's, he's wearing a fucking uh, an outfit to look like me. God, so you've got a, a fucking if you've got a fat suit on, you've got an inflatable sumo suit on <laughs> with a fucking fake tattoo sleeve, a ginger beard, and a bald wig. I fucking sweat. I should have taken my off underneath and <laughs> all. I didn't think it's through. You did not. No. Scott, too. No, I thank you. Excellent. I'm glad you've noticed. <laughs> What the and you can fuck? take that either way. It can either be two as in number two or two as in T double O as well. He's the Danny DeVito to my Arnie. <laughs> right, right, right now on the fucking live feed, it's getting spammed with likes. And fuck, Excellent. Fuck the fuck is wrong my with you? My fucking moose getting spammed with ginger hair. Do you know what? Do you know what gets me, Steve? Is that he's gone away and made a concerted effort to spend hard cash. On buying a fucking inflatable. Steve, look at my he- tweet, tweet that nip. Ooh. Um, <laughs> look at my today. Am I here in a pump keeping that thing inflated? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, Jesus. I've got, I've got four fucking double A's in here. Why did you put the fucking t shirt over the fat suit? Because, well, I've got high be modesty. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Boys are my and why is your. Why you wear t shirts that don't fit all the time? Why is your moustache <laughs> over your nose? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> it keeps going in my mouth. <laughs> It's hard to speak. <laughs> so, that's Logan Paul cunt, Steve. I'll, I'll oh, God. we're past him. We're on oh, mummy blogs now. Oh, mummy blogs. <laughs> well, can, I, can I move it along from mummy... Can I move it along from no, mummy, mummy there's blogs? there's a man here in a fucking inflatable sumo suit. Yeah, all I see there's a man there, there not in an inflatable sumo suit, but you would think he was. <laughs> all I see is the same guy giving me a different sides of the opinion. So it's just a stroke. It's, a, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just your bad side. It's a, what it's, the am fuck I living is in split? <laughs> 
Give him a little crumb, give him a little crumb. <laughs> oh, boys, mate, I don't know. What the fuck are you doing now? What the fucking fuck? What, what noise you're making? If you're gonna readjust, there you go, make your phone down. So now you're trying to get your t shirt. Why are you pulling it down over the fucking suit? Pull it down around the belly. You can't get over the belly. Oh. You've got a bit of a muffin top going on there. The t says, thank you, fuck you, bye. That's wonderful. <laughs> when you're, I didn't even, where did he get the fucking fake to do sleep? You've got on the wrong arm, oh, you oh, tipped. Oh, well, that's because I'm your opposite. Oh, okay, my, my, my mirror image. Yeah. <coughs> I, I just, uh, I'm loving the, the, the moustache over the nose is a crack as well, <laughs> rather than under the nose. Boy, yeah, it makes him look like a Muppet. <laughs> see, now, do you see how I feel? Oh, you know? I don't know you can cope. <laughs> First going to Davies. <laughs> I'll just tell you, a red pudding's up where I'm slimming. Fucking <laughs> hell, man. And I diet cook. <laughs> I don't want too much asparatine. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. That just, that's completely fucking throw me now. Yeah, that's the new year with a bang. How have we gone from mm-hmm. fucking Logan Paul to you being dressed like me in a fucking Internet podcast? Celebrity, I'm not lying. I, I, I genuinely you. thought he was Dr. Robotnik to start with. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought it was like some sort of no, Robotnik. I saw him come down the stairs and I saw the beard and the, I thought, oh, here, fucking here we go. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't notice the fat suit until it obviously came through the door. Excuse me. The inflatable suit, suit. Which I can, I can hear buzzing away as it's fucking re- inflating. It's Steve's pacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for oh, fuck's I can't, sake. I can't believe it. We're never going to top this. We'll just close now. I know. I think it's... I think <laughs> the show's done. What the fuck? <laughs> went right in the move. No, we're not done. Because yeah. I'll tell you what we need to speak about, about internet things that piss us off. What's that? This fucking carry on with the kid... Will in you the turn that le- pump off for fuck's sake? <laughs> Sorry, it's in my leg. <laughs> the, the kid in, in the the leg. <laughs> for fuck's sake. I've got fat legs. <laughs> the H&M <laughs> hoodie <laughs> incident. <laughs> Oh, have you seen this? No. Why? Sorry, so. so I'm trying to switch myself off here. <laughs> it's better, right? Take your time. We'll wait. Wait. Ha! If, if, oh. we, if we just pause and listen to the, to the noise of the fan. Yeah. Listen. Fucking hell, boy. That's what, uh, I've got it. You've got it, right? So you have your fan off now and your, your guts deflating. And you're deflating. Oh. It must be like when you had like, I'm just a in a Rennie's. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just in a Rennie's. <laughs> I've found, see, since I turned 35, I go through a lot more Rennies than I used to. Oh, <laughs> right, fucking oh. hell. Oh, it's giving me bloat. Boys, I'm fucking cooking. Beer in I, I'll particular. I'll tell you, I, I, it's lucky I'm not a fucking delicate bean flower, because fucking hell, <laughs> I'm like, tonight, Matthew, I'll be Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> tonight, Matthew, I'll be fat. <laughs> <laughs> Terror. So, Lurchy, yes, yeah, sorry, so. So, is it HMS. Corporate? H&M. Uh, we're basically <laughs> under scrutiny this week from the entirety of Twitter. And it, it basically, they, re- <laughs> they released these kids' hoodies. Uh, I can't remember what one of them said, because it was a white kid, and no one cared about him, which yeah. right. in itself is racism. Cracker. R- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honky motherfucker. That's it. This little black kid is wearing a, a green hoodie with, was it, cheeky little monkey on it or something? Was it the cheekiest monkey in the cheekiest jungle? Cheekiest monkey in the jungle on it. Mm. I've now, got a story that relates to this. Hold on. So, you go. Well, yeah. people lost their fucking minds over this fucking hoodie. Like... You can't do that, you know. But if you looked at Twitter, it was mad with fucking folks saying, "Oh my God, yeah. you can't call up, you can't put monkey in a bear's chest, a black bear's chest, because my God, people will think it's racist. It's racist. You can't say monkey." No, it was Twitter. You know, let, no, let me let me interject let here. AF. I can't, I can't imagine for one minute somebody went in with their sales pitch and went, oh, "This is our racist little number for this year," <laughs> as modelled by our little black boy. It, it just can't fucking happen. And no one in the board would have been like, what a fucking great idea. Exactly. It's ridiculous. No one's done that out of malice. There's I mean, no way. The colour of this hoodie is a uh, sunset sambo. Uh, just, it's just, just fucking mental. It, well, so, uh, like I said, I saw on Twitter there where the people were nuts and it was like all these kind of uh, like right-wing activists. Oh my God, you know, think of the children. Think of that poor bairn. You can't say can't, monkey when it's a black bairn. If, if that's your initial thought, then you've got some sort of racial underlying There's fucking problems wrong anyway. With you. Yeah, because I just seen a kid in a, a, a cheeky little monkey or whatever cheeky it was. Monkey. And I'm like, yeah, it's a kid. So I had a black lassie in the shop at Christmas time. Right. Sorry, uh, um, an, an African woman. Right. And she was wanting a bit of beef for Christmas dinner. And she was looking at all the beef and she goes, why did beef so red and this beef so black? And I'm trying to explain oxidization is the reason why your beef goes bright red. Yes. It's the air hits it and then it makes it bloom. Mm-hmm. So when I explain oxidization to someone, I like to say, do you know when you eat a banana and the air hits it and it goes black? Mm-hmm. So I'm saying to a black lassie, you know when you eat a banana? 
I've got, I mean, a pear and an apple. <laughs> See, Why don't you, you cast him in here and say, yeah. uh, Deborah Wilcox shot says, uh, I'm looking to hire a Burnsy Castle of the Wayne's. Can you do next Saturday? I give it. I like Wayne's bunch not doing them. But you do have to be fucking mm. super careful now because you get accused of being a racist, horrible bastard. Yeah. What really fucked me off is the amount of cunts on Twitter. And they're like, there's like black people going, Oh, black people have been oppressed for 200 years and blah, blah, blah. You know, and it's like, we've, we've had our freedom. And I'm like, Hold on a minute. Neither you or I was around. For slavery, more like you know the, the slavery you're speaking about uh, here. What the fuck? How is that my fault? I've never once had an inclination to like insult anyone over their race. I don't see the point. It doesn't make any sense. To me. I'm just not that way. Inclined. Not in spite. I no. mean, I've, I've I've called, I've I've said things to colleagues, work colleagues, stuff that are the bouncing days. But but they've called me every horrible haggis munching white fucking yeah, bastard. Yeah. Well, but you know you, yeah. you, 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 you know have butt of your friends even back and forth with me. Never we've had we've had things with like that before. You know, oh, but, uh, oh, Luch. but uh, yeah. <laughs> I miss being hurt. But um, you know, we but like you said, if you look at that and see a racist image, then is that maybe more like of your behavior? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Just, so I seemingly the kid's mum came on the line and was like, "Listen, wise up. It's not racist. He's a wee monkey." You know, the cheeky wee monkey, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Why, why are you all getting your neck in a twist? Because, you know, it's fun. I can't take you seriously with a fucking ginger beard on and a ball. Now you know how he feels. <laughs> I know. Me, 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 me. Yeah, it's a bit messed up. I can see, I can kind of see why people might be like, that's racist. But in calling it out and then, like, totally dismissing the opinions of any white people over it, that itself is racist. So you can't really, it's a no-win situation for the, the whole But then scenario. we're stuck in a kind of world where where people are looking for things to be outraged oh, by. What? I mean, you've got, you've got obviously, the, this, this cheeky wee monkey hoodie. But yeah. what, what got me more, though, was, and this fucking amazed me, was obviously Iron Brew have said, you know what, we're changing our recipe. No longer will your Iron Brew have, like, 14 spoons of sugar in it. It's now going to have about four or five, with maybe a wee bit of sweetener in there, too, just to keep it the same oh, taste. Touchy bear asparatine. A, a, How a the touchy fuck is Scotland's diabetes em- epidemic meant to, like, you know, continue and so, flourish? Well, you've never seen... An, well, now, most folk I've seen online who've argued about Iron Brew have done it in a light-hearted vein. Oh, my God, you're changing the recipe. I can't believe this. I'm going to... Hangovers this. will never be the All same. This, I said, exactly, yeah. But I've seen a couple of folk, especially, who are, like, properly militant... This is fucking ridiculous! I'm not having... How fucking dare you, you change these, my iron brew, I, you dirty fucking bastards! I bet you these are the same cunts out. who can't wait for Brexit to get their iron brew back. Oh no, these are the kind of cunts... <laughs> uh, when, uh, I'll, sh- I'll show you one guy especially, because he's gold, who smashes the keyboard with his elbows, trying to type his... I aren't fucking Rangry! <laughs> fucking screaming! Excellent. Because, Always John Mackay. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, this guy could have won the award for John McKay but post the week. John McKay of the week. It's just it, the fucking rage. And you, and you think to yourself, um, and you look at it written down, you're like, okay, well, maybe it's just a bit of like a hard banter. They're having a bit of a laugh. You know, it's fine. You know, as well. But no, they're genuinely like, no, I'm fucking furious. I'm going to storm well, I'm going to storm the fucking House of Parliament and say, get your hands of our iron brew, mate, fucking Theresa May. My favourite Ian is the folk that freak out about the, the new notes. The, the okay, right? Just can't handle change. About the new <laughs> what? The, the the currency, the ten pounds and the five pounds. Hey, don't plastic. knock the new notes. I found one of them buried under the ice outside Autosave not that long oh, ago. Oh, nice. Chipped away with my heel. Tenor, thank you very much. <laughs> Spitting out here. I, 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 it's Welcome like, to my world. I know. Eating the the roots Everything of the JJ. Everything oh, <laughs> Ginger hairs at your move. <laughs> Could you not combed and tidied it up a bit, please? Oh, stop. <laughs> I Come took uh, the apprentice for his first ever experience of Dr. Noodle the other day. Oh, did you? Never been, no. You need to go to Dr. Noodle. I Although, do like it. I don't this think it's man, the kind of doctor I'm needing just now to be well, fair. I was going to say, but I think this guy wasted four years of his life at medical school because it doesn't take a doctor to figure out that putting noodles in sauce in a box is going to taste fine. Not necessarily <laughs> at medical school because you can get a doctorate in like, music. Uh, well, I, I would have bought a ship for a Mr. Noodle. Just saying. Senor Noodle. Senior yeah. noodle, but uh, <laughs> sounds Mexican. <laughs> but uh, it, Mexican honest, noodles. See if no, you no. present no a high-functioning autistic person to a. Uh, How was your dad doing, by the way? Oh, uh, I told you he shit himself. He in the kitchen, did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sneeze and shut out of the kitchen floor. You know we're in drawers. You messed no. up, Steve. No, shut <laughs> our his fucking Sports Direct sandals. <laughs> I've got his second home for me, brother. Though. Although I did do a recording. 
Because his, his, his old missus that he left me my for, <laughs> she come into the shop. And, oh, um, nice. I got a boozy fair. I quite like her. Okay. She's the only one I've liked. They've gotten progressively more sort of fucking schizophrenic Mental. and Arthur mm. Heads and fucking psycho. She it's come in and I, I fucking, I voice up to my brother to tell my dad. I says, oh, well, I play the WhatsApp. Yes. Says, play it. Do it. Right, the recording of So me. your brother still speaks to the old man, I take it. Just, I think. Just, I right. just. So he was borderline when we were still pals. Gein up on him and I. Aye. Yeah. Families, eh? <laughs> Families. I remember uh, my <laughs> my old man had a, was seen a wifey for a while. That's a few years back. This was back when it was still the, the drinking phase, you know, and uh, and she was a proper mental. And he called it off and she went fucking ballistic. Broke into his flat while he was at the house and smashed up his entire Westie ornament collection. He had a fucking... <laughs> Westie oh, ornament West, 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 He had a fucking eye, like a wall, to, floor to wall, but, roof, sorry, <laughs> shelving unit. Full of these little ornaments they bought from all over the country Fucking of Westies. Westies, and she smashed this shit. It was Magic. poor man, all his Westies, all to shit. At least, like, you don't have to inherit them now. Well, true, good point, <laughs> very Winner. good point. How's your mum keeping? I'm probably dead. Oh, thanks Fuck. very much for asking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fiend. You mentioned Steve, no? Fiend. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. You know. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Right, so. so good of you. Have you found your audio? Because I've got. Oh, okay. How did you? Well, fuck. How did you? Put it by the speaker. Where's the speaker? It's, it's all not, been. I don't know. Is it the bass? Which phone have you got? The Nokia. No, the Nokia. <laughs> the Nokia. The, the Nexus. Nexus. Is it near the bottom? It's at the top, I think. Because you speak at the bottom, you listen at the top. So <laughs> right, at the top. right, okay. Listen. Listen. Oh, fuck off. What are you doing? I'm trying to play the audio, but it keeps blocking the screen. Oh, my listen. God. Listen, you listen. You listen. You can tell your fucking beady eye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you doing? Fuck. Right. This is, this is can I, can I interject audio? with some audio I have from a friend? Right, this is from a colleague. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is a guy in his 20s who lives with his dad. It, it's been winding his dad up, and it's like 6 in the afternoon. Right. And his dad had basically told him to go to his bed. <laughs> oh, really? It's a, it's a proper, coarse-sounding, like, Northfield dad, you know? Right. Yeah, one of those wicked Has he recorded this? Yes. Okay. And I have it right here. Hold on while I put the volume up. Do it. Let's it's just it. cutting-edge radio here, folks. It's lovely. Yeah, I'm cooking. You get your bed! I know I'm going. Now lose your mouth! Get your bed! Darn, it's got a Get your bed! Of water. Get your bed! How old is he? I think a guy's in his twenties. Get your bed. <laughs> Get your bed. Get your bed. Play that again. You're rosing me. He's in his twenties and his dad's shouting. Get your bed. I'm pretty sure this guy's in his twenties and his dad's telling me. Fucking to wonderful. This old man sounds like he likes a drink. To be fair, right? We ready? You get your bed! I know I'm going. I'm losing my mouth! Get your bed! Dad, I'm scared. Get your bed! Of water. Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> That's fucking wonderful. <laughs> It's become a thing. It works. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, you know, like I think on the works night out, uh, there'd been a few folk just shouting, Get your bed! To each other, <laughs> you know, across the room. I fucking for love absolutely that. no reason. Get your bed! Right, Lurchy, come on now, Get, make us work. Right, so, right. Wait, give us, give us the context again. So, I'm speaking it before you go. <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh my god. I'm being fat. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to eat my phone. Shh. Um, so, his. Rid- the lassie he left my mum for right. come into the shop gave you a bozy I got a bozy fair and my dad is very jealous of anybody got a bozy fair oh Man, really because she got married and he used to fucking fucking contribute his, his fucking fool that you married oh like, oh I need a proper rant I used to wind him up so right. I thought <laughs> no you know, I don't I thought, believe no, I don't, that I don't, it's no. still all. so I thought no. if I message this to my brother he'll play it to him and I'll wind him up so <laughs> Winding him up for like beyond the grave. That's right. <laughs> he keeps playing, right? He says, I drive in places and he fucking hates it. Because my brother keeps playing this full blast in his radio. Right. And he sits there and he fucking hates it. And he says, the mere junk he gets, the mere fucking annoyed he gets. Right, he's okay. like grinding his face. But he just needs to play the, listen. Because that's what my dad used to say. Oh, yeah. Listen, you listening? Right? <laughs> so he says he just keeps playing the listen bit. And it does as he didn't. He, says right. he was dropping him off in a bar and he just blared. <laughs> as he was gone into the bar and he fucking cunted him through his message book at a car <laughs> brilliant and he told him to get to his bed fucking hell 
<laughs> so I used to get. I don't think we've had like phones getting played on microphones since like show one or two. Remember the I guy know, was right? Ryan was. Remember oh. the guy? Remember that? <laughs> I'm sure it was like episode one or two it was with the guy who was like stalking your pal oh, yeah. and leaving uh, all those voicemails. Remember that? Fuck, I was glad. Get to my bed. Get to my bed. My God. How was your Christmas, sir? Get your bed. Get your bed. Get your bed. Get your bed. Steve, can you send me that like, you really? file so I can, I can put that on the fucking soundboard and we're going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody comes on the show and pisses me off, get your bed! You get your bed! <laughs> but if you listen carefully, he says, You're rousing me. Oh, you're, oh, <laughs> you're rousing me. I don't, know, out, I don't know how you get pronounce out, it. Set it's, on. it's clearly some slang from Let's around here that I have for the next no show. idea about. Listen, right, listen carefully. Get your bed! I know I'm going. You're rousing me! You're rousing me! Get your bed! Get your bed! Get your bed! The fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> Speaking of fucking getting roused, uh, I believe there's been some fucking high drama. Have you heard, Steve? There's been, in fact, to quote Taggart, there's been a mother. Oh, fuck, I forgot <gasps> Have you heard about I this? Forgot about this. There's been a um, night. So, here we are now. Of course, you guys have been with the show for a long time will remember that, uh, obviously, DHP Studio number one was in Teledrone. 1.0, yes. 1.0 was in Teledrone. <laughs> As is <laughs> right. <laughs> as, <laughs> I like me tired. As is fucking large monsters Tilly Butcher. Hello. In the heart of Tilly Drone, hate and roll Aberdeen. Uh, top bitch in Aberdeen, Scotland, whole shit match. Death. You can but, take the bald cap off. Oh, well, I've got, I've got the good part. You look completely. You're gonna pass out. Oh, oh, sorry, Scott. We're cutting across here. If he High passes radio. out, uh, my nuts are gonna be over his face. I'm telling you right now. So if you better stay awake, well, let's make it three. I'm the twin you used to think about here and <laughs> smearing. Hopefully so, we'll get that nice screeching sound effect as well. You know, oh. like when you rub your hand over a fucking condensated window. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, oh, that's great. Yeah, that's wonderful. So it's Makes a great audio. That as well. <laughs> it's been a mulder. So it's get been a mulder. <laughs> so, now I've only heard kind of brief kind of summary, but seemingly in the street across from your shop, Somebody was murdered. Aye, oh, somebody put the death on somebody. I saw in the paper on the on the news about someone's someone's got the murder. They've got somebody in custody. Believe I believe as well. Similarly, they don't. Mm. Now you, of course, are at the heart of Tilladone. You are like the I am gossip. The center. You're the this gossip center. The... Not that you yourself are gossip. No, not at all. They all come in. Not go, on a podcast. The <gasps> butcher. Uh, guess what? The fucking happened. The Tilladone is like fucking a live action Cluedo. Is it really? Oh. Uh, <laughs> It was fucking Genie Forsyth with a knife through the oh, night. Oh, right, okay. Um, but I've only heard a knife. So it was like a Donald Trump fucking... Good Dean. Uh, like anybody in telly has got a billiard room. <laughs> <laughs> it was well, Genie Forsyth Forsyth with a Yankee candle <laughs> and the sports director. Right, right okay. So, <laughs> and the sports direct <laughs> <laughs> So it is like fucking Cluedo, right? Right. The one thing that I've heard was it was a knife. Now... The consensus seems to be over the road. Be no, she's no, a f- she's she, right. she was adamant it was fucking him. Oh, it's Alistair. Alistair, I heard, I heard him singing. I don't know who that is. Oh. It's, it's somebody it's one of her personalities. It's, oh, right. it's, it's somebody that lives next to her. It's just going. Oh, I think it's Alistair. I think he's dead. And I'm going. Why? Because he was singing. He never sings. Oh, oh okay. Why would he sing if he was dead? Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Elvis. See, I, I heard, I heard, you know, what wifey went my knife and Tilly Drone, Heart Tilly Drone, has gone on a stabbing frenzy. I'm not going to lie to you, first thought is, over the road bay. I know. Because she's lovely, but there's that glint about her eye, though. She's you know, mental. She's a, 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 bit, a bit of a mental glint about her. Have you, have you met her, Steve, yet? Have you seen no, her yet? No. She'll show you her socks in the dark. She's, what? Look at the right in my socks. Are they glowing in the dark? No. Right. She'll you show you this her socks she in could, the dark. She'll come in, believe, she'll ladle herself into my house one night. Right. Pink right. Sock. And she'll come upstairs and she'll look at her right in my socks. And I'm like, huh? And she's like, look. And I'm going, like, fucking pitch block. Tell the drone. Yes, tell the drone. Go him. Right, one person said it was a knife. This right. murder, the consensus from quite a few people is it was the Jakey Lassie mm-hmm. in Alexander Terrace with right. the George Foreman toaster. <gasps> No! How do you kill someone with a George Foreman toaster? How do you There's kill no somebody with a Sanjeev Kapoor tandoor? Exactly. That's the first thing I said. Oh. Sanjeev Kapoor tandoor? There's no way. There's no way they were paying full price for a Dodie Foreman. Oh, well, see, now oh, I think... Probably they an Asda be... special. Oh, a toasty right. machine for £6, maybe. <laughs> I cooked him a steak and I made a so, cut. So, no, he did! So the word... Get your bed! Get your bed! You're rousing me! 
<laughs> so the word is she's used a jo- a Sajid Kapoor she's to her. the death hour of his pure country. No. Dode for him. Imagine getting stole. It must have been switched off. Uh, the mean, that are hot as the fuck. mean oh, wee killing machine. Right. Could it be like maybe he's having a wee, a wee bijou snoozette? She's put the thing on high, got weightless, biling hot, and then just fucking clamped over his head. I think he was going to be slamming her face into the plate of mashed tatties at Christmas. She lost the rag, <laughs> find the iron, and fucking mowed him in the heat with the fucking Sanjeev Kapoor. With the Sanjeev Kapoor tandoor. I don't know. I mean, there's going to be. I mean, there's going to be people out there right now who are listening to the show who don't know. Lurchy, what Sanjeev Kapoor Tandoor is and why we love it so much. Can you just give us a quick recap about the Sanjeev Kapoor Tandoor? When the apprentice had his business for like two days, um, he had, <laughs> I had to cook sausages for him once and he had a... a th- how would you describe the colour box? Oh, it's like, yes. It's like, like a brick a brack shop. It was like pound land, but... Shit. Yeah. Yes. It was like... If, it was more than a pound, but worth less. Yes. Yes. Than what you were getting, Poundland. Uh, it, it, that is literally all it was. And it had that fucking weird smell about it. It did, It yeah. was like... You know what it reminded me of? Like, an all-wifey's bric-a-brac at a fucking church. Oh, oh okay. Except aye. it was... Like a aye. church raffle. Except it was full shit. Price. Full yeah. RRP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I went in there... Recommended looking. Recommended rip off price. <laughs> I went in there looking to cook some sausages, and I was raking for... Ah, uh, George Foreman. Right, and I spied the box, you know, the white box with the grill mm-hmm. and the fucking writing. But there was a Pakistani money mm-hmm. on the box. Uh-huh. And I ventured up closer and it said, the lean grill, the Sanjeev Kapoor Tandoor. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not caring if it's £40 pound dearer than a normal George Foreman <laughs> for Costco. <laughs> I'm fucking hearing it. Yeah. And I got, it to, I got it back to the shop, I opened it up, I was so excited. And it, oh, said, it does have a better ring to it, doesn't it? Doesn't it? But it was just a fucking box. The George Foreman grill was inside it. The George Foreman lean mean fat producing grilling machine. Oh, so it, it was branded George Foreman. But the box, the box was inside the computer on door. Oh no! Despondent. So, yeah, so somebody there in Tilly Drone has been sitting having a wee a wee bijou argument on Christmas, Christmas Day. It's been was it Christmas Day? Oh, it was like Christmas Fuck time. Me, or it's close on, yeah. The fucking wrappers back in the box if you even the sweeties. <laughs> do you think? Do you think <laughs> she maybe? Do you think she maybe got a George Foreman for Christmas and just thought, "Fuck you," <laughs> went to <laughs> town on him. Get to your bed. So can, <laughs> can you see the rubes battering him to death with a cheap shape but Amazon jewelry? Yes. Just for you going to be for Christmas? Yeah. Holy shit. Talk about a callback to Man. fucking an old back. fucking segment there. I'm Jesus still flogging that horse. Are we going to speak about Doogie Brain next? What the <laughs> fucking hell? Can we Holy. speak about him yet? There's <laughs> <laughs> enough time passed. Enough time passed, die, Christ. Um, so yeah, fucking the Sanjeev Kapoor. So the, the r- rumour is, deed, Sanjeev Kapoor done do her. The police were out raking for stuff. Right. Oh my God, they must be looking for a knife. But there was like, you know, like when a kid goes missing in a film, there's like a line of police with sticks and a luminous jacket on. Yeah, sorry. Stop. They look like they're why picking the up f- crisp packets. And ah, why yeah. the fuck are they stabbing the girl and looking for a George Foreman grill? <laughs> it's pretty fucking going to stand out. Like, <laughs> well, cool. they were walking up the bins, cutting them open, looking, going, oh, there's not a Foreman in here, and then leaving him. So Telly Drone is all over a fucking wash with shit. Well, I've been, I'm still, I'm <laughs> still, you there. Speaking I'm of still the a Sanjeev member, Kapoor Tandoor. Still a member of the Telly Drone, one of the Telly Drone like, community groups on Facebook. Oh, yeah, I, I'm only a member of that because, you know, I like seeing the shit that's happening in that place where I've gone. Excellent. And, uh, but the photographs in there of blurry camera phones, obviously important yeah, ones, yeah. you know, of like bin bags all heaved on the floor and stuff. Taking on old Nokia Check phones. Check your fucking mess on that street, man, can. Fucking skunky bastard. You know, bin bags ripped apart and just stuff. So I had, like, the live action Tilly Tattle in the shop the other day. Oh. The, the real McCoy, she's quite a gossiping cow. Right. Right, but, um... So was... do you find they come to you with all the latest news? Oh, they come to me to try and find it out, but they give oh, it to me. Oh, okay, right, Ty. And I keep it and give it arms and legs. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, she come in, right, and she said, I was serving her, but then two gentlemen walked in that looked very well-to-do, and I went, oh, what the fuck? And they had badges and clipboards. And I went, oh, oh, right. Uh, Environmental health, sir. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, immediately ship the cell. Because I'm like, I don't even do temperature checks. I tell them, right? Right. And they come in, they go, where's your temperature records? And I go, um, my, my counters are linked up to the broadband, and it goes to the cloud, and then it goes to the house. <laughs> and they take it in like soup. So, right, okay. they come in, I'm like, oh, no. Uh, we're just uh, doing an investigation. Have you, by any chance, got a... Uh, an infestation of rats, sir. What? And the Tilly Tattle just went, say what? Oh, oh no. Say fucking what? <laughs> but a ghost at pier like. Oh, so fucking sake. Isa is fucking stood here with our lugs pinned right back. Right. And I went, why the fuck would I hear rats like? I'm very clean, don't you know? And 
He says, well, the kebab shop next door is fucking rife with them. What? what? Mm. In his back shop. Y- y- Rats I am ally. not surprised. Rats ally. And I said, are you in a fucking laugh? <laughs> I went fucking ballistic. And I was fucking out ready to go into this cunt shop. I'm Holy fucking held in past him. Let me that fucking monkey cunt shop. Wife. All right, get your bed. Get your bed. <laughs> and this is all. Play it against him. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I, uh, he's got rats. Uh, we're just checking if you've got. And I went, no. Jesus says, Christ. So is he still trading? Yeah, I. I'm not surprised because some of the shit I've seen going on in that shop or going into that shop as well, mm. I'm not surprised there's fucking rats. You get your bed! I don't want to go. You lose your mouth! Get your bed! 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 That way. No, that Weirdly enough, way. sorry, I had to play that one. Got, it was that Willie. Oh, Willie. Weirdly enough, the guy I got that audio from w- used to work with Willie as well. Really? Yeah. Oh. Shit, you not. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sorry, boys, I need to switch on. I'm fucking cooking. <laughs> is it back on again? It's back on cooking. Oh, for yeah. fucking you yeah. as well. It's lovely. It's Lurch, lovely. can I give you some advice? Mm. Don't be fucked. See, the worst thing is. is <laughs> <laughs> because oh. Lurch is sitting forward, the, the suit's now inflating behind him, so it looks like a fucking hunchback. <laughs> you see? It's just the, the posture. It's, it's just, just your just posture. posture. That's exactly it. So why the boy next door's got rats? Right, don't get fucking hell. So, I... so has there been any progress at all on the, on the murder investigation? Not that I've heard. Just, was, just the rumour mill. She was up in the court on Friday and entered no plea, so I'm imagining she just stood there like, Oh, for the love but of fuck. But the lassie for the chemist said that she hadn't been in for her antipsychotics oh. in five days. So. Right. But she'd been up in court the Monday that week for trying to murder him before. Really? Mm. Fuck's sake. So she fucking... Top job, police. Ah, <laughs> 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 fucking made it straight through. Gentlemen, um, let's cut in here with, a, with an old segment. A segment... Oh. That we haven't done for a long time. You should get one of these fans installed into yourself. I'm gonna. It's beautiful. It sounds wonderful. It's absolutely beautiful. The noise is great for the you know the audio yeah, as well. I'm I'm got the reverb there. Oh, I've, nice. got, I've still got to finish off my fucking Doctor No story. Your Doctor No story. Doctor Noodle. Oh, right, yeah. we'll do that. that. We'll do the same. Okay. okay. Right. So right. I took him for a fucking Doctor Noodle. Right. Holy because he's high shit. functioning autistic. Yes. All you've got, it's like a, it's like building a sentence basically. The the menu. I'll with that. The be- well, you will if you get tired. <laughs> there you go, they're too tired. It's like building a sentence. Noodles. I want noodle box rice box, large, medium, small, beef or chicken, and what sauce? Right. So cool. I would like a large beef satay uh, noodle box, please. Good choice. That's, that's all you need to say. Okay. Sounds good. He yeah. walked in and he went. <laughs> um, the blue was, screen. Oh, oh honestly, oh, it was a blue screen of death. It was fucking. It was like Subway all over again. Right. I took him to Subway once. You've never seen somebody <laughs> fucking hell. So he stood in um, uh, what he had two. So uh, we had one each, and he sat there. And I said, right, Doctor Noodle had a TV on, but they were showing uh, David Attenborough's like Life with Bugs. Oh, right. So nice. he's fucking bitting you, cleaning the mood for a bit of fucking noodles. Oh, naturally. So yeah, he's watching just, some beetle herd some shite together and fucking store it in the fucking hole. Oh, it, was, it, it, it was an ant spraying its pheromones and ticking over a nest. Oh, apparently oh, that's for the ant bitches. You know something? Say what you like about these nature programs, but I got totally engrossed and nearly let my daughter smash her face in a cupboard on Christmas Day because there was a, a thing about penguins on. Oh, Blue Planet too. Amazing. Chance. Yeah. I love it. Oh, awesome. Wonderful. Loving it. Anyway, sorry. sorry. Um, so we went to, the, we had to go to the beach to sit and eat it because we were a couple. We got couples Christmas cards at Christmas. Oh, to nice. A very special you couple. Oh, you guys are wonderful. Oh, it's fucking torture, man. So, <laughs> we went down to the beach. The dude. Oh, I'm the poster, he's a post box. Ah, okay, yeah, right. makes sense. So, we went down to the beach and he's sitting there. Now, this is the first time he's ever eaten um, food and made the Us. correct... No, <laughs> so, no, he didn't eat up. Does he not? No. Oh. He didn't like licking a pooper. Oh, no. Okay. Give my rusty trombone, babes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tracy had never heard of a rusty trombone. Really? She only knew it. I, only, I don't know why it even came into conversation. I just got blown away by the fact she'd no idea what a rusty trombone was. Bloody hell. And then I had to explain it to her. And obviously did the motions and that. And <laughs> I've never seen her look so horrified in my life. <laughs> I have to do that to your bumble. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't asking. It's not yeah. my scene. Yeah. Not into that. 
Nah, Besides, nah. I get terrible wind. <coughs> I, uh, I'm a really farty kind of guy. I wouldn't do that to anybody. No, no neither would I. She's a bit hairy back there as well, mm. to be fair. She'd probably take a deep breath and then Blake choke. Diamond <laughs> Jumanji. <laughs> nah, exactly. <laughs> Spitting poop peanuts. She has oh, she ginger. Give her, you know. I don't think that's common knowledge. I don't think she wants that to be common knowledge. Oh, no. I, I'm in the rubes. I would never say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's the same, though. She's in denial. She dies her hair as well, does she? <laughs> I should not say. Pair of denial. Ginger dogs, bastards. Yeah. But then we both got ginger beards. Not that I would ever admit. Well, I do. It's, it's more or less probably a Celtic copper to be fair, but you know. Yeah. You're truly yeah. a Celtic copper. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Dr. No Noodles. Dr. Noodles were sat Beatles. at the beach now like a pair of poofters. Right. So, yeah. uh, but it's 2018. That's a cool. How do poofters sit at the beach? With her legs crossed together. Oh, wonderful. Right. Together in his car. Holding okay. hands together forever. Uh, aye, so oh, we're sorry. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus. Thanks for the clarification on that. Eat my noodles. <laughs> but this is the first time he's ever ate a meal and he's made the appropriate sounds. Because when he eats, like, a solid baguette, he sounds like he's eating spaghetti. Oh! Right. Or eating ass with the sounds of things. Mm. Didn't do that. Rusty Trumbo. <laughs> yeah. So, back to this again. <laughs> he's eating his fucking <laughs> noodle box and my little pal doesn't do chilli. And Beef Satie's got one chilli next to it on the menu. Yeah, yeah. He was fucking struggling. Really? His nose was ridden. He kept eating going, Ooh, what spicy, spicy. Oh, Ooh. bless him. Hoocha, hoocha, hoocha. And I thought, right, he's given up because he put the box to him. But he plugged his phone in, went onto Spotify and put on drum and bass. And he turned the bass up in his car and he's gone, fucking yes! <laughs> He was out his face on chilli. What is that? He was fucking out his tits on chilli. Baked on chilli. Oh, what he's going, fucking up. brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I've just got visions of, remember the fast show had that guy where everything was brilliant? Yes. Brilliant! You know, the hat on and the fucking <laughs> puppy jacket. <laughs> Woo, why did you film this? Dead battery. Oh, no! I was fucking oh. God, wise up and I was raking, oh, wait, but the windows in his car were like, oh, 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 and he's fucking, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm taking him for another doctor. Oh, do week. it. I'm bringing a full battery as well. We can't <laughs> fucking know. Fucking a, an actual video recorder just oh, to be safe. Oh, yes. We thought we'd getting a dash cam and just filming ourselves. I film oh, it. Oh, even him, better. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Peter Kay's right along. This you know when you see better. like the comedians doing right like James Corden. That car- I can't. I like how you fucking associate Stan him James with Corden. comedian. I hate him. Oh, yeah, yeah son's a fucking turd, isn't he? Fat cunt with his white teeth. He's just a dick as well, isn't he? I'm right here for fuck's sake. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. Get Get your bed. That's fucking wonderful. What the fuck, man? What the he's doing in the dark sounds about 70. <laughs> it's gold, is it? I do it, I don't actually do it. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Playing that now, Steve told us. I've got a whole new FML for you. I'm gonna, <laughs> That's us, I'm gonna start bringing this spearhead so you can hear the things, things as well as numbers do as well. But uh, so we have a, a segment from many months ago, the FML segment, of course. Fuck my life, where people have written in and they give us an FML story about their lives. And we've got a humdinger. I'm a bit passed for the heat, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to keep it. We've seen it now. I've got to do we it. I've got to do it. An email that says, Hi, Scott and the gang. Name's Robert, and I've been a listener for about three years now. Scott and the gang. Hello, Robert. Scott that sounds like gang. a 70s fucking disco Doesn't club it just? Group, eh? <laughs> I've been a listener for about three years now. Please do more shows and more videos, especially some more dog kill battles if you can, because they were a lot of fun. They were a lot of fun. My name. What were they again? Remember Is that the music you, ones? Five songs each of the battles he was best. <sighs> You're not a fan, no, you don't enjoy it. Not really. Oh, fuck you, Steve. The thing is, all right, you've only got... <laughs> you're picking your five favourite songs. When you pick that five, they don't really change, do they? Well, it was a battle. Who who, who the best song? You judge who was winner. Well, now the only winner would be whoever picks that fucking sticky, sticky, stick song first. Well, good point, yes. I <laughs> fucking certainly. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you a story that happened to me recently for your FML section. If you still do it, that is. The show. We'd barely <laughs> still do the show. <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. yeah. I used to work with a guy called Colin, and Colin was a right scrawny, ugly bastard. He whined all the time about his job, was never happy, and only ever seemed to date women whom he, who he met online and who lived abroad. Fine guy, though. Oh, why? Colin and, I weren't clo- Colin and I weren't close, friend- cl- cl- weren't close friends at all. You're having a stroke. But we would talk. <laughs> fast, we that fast. No. Face arse. Shite time. Shite, 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 shite tissues. Yeah. But we would talk if we had time at work. 
Anyway. Did you poop yourself? You I, was out for, I was out a few weekends ago and I ended up really drunk. And I was about to leave for the next pub. I saw Colin at the bar, dressed as a woman. Hey the, what? Hey the Colin. Apart from the blonde hair, it was definitely Colin's face. Colleen. So thinking he was out in a fancy night, fancy dress or stag night, I staggered over to say hello. I grabbed a handful of his ass and he spun round looking shocked. Hey Colin, you make a right ugly bastard woman. You could have at least put some rolled up socks on your top to make fake tits. Turns out, Colin had a younger sister. Who I never met. <laughs> also, I learned that his sister was his double. And that they were often mistaken for twins. <laughs> just got a fair right also, here. turns out that gravel rash in your face sucks when two <laughs> bouncers launch across the street for a manhandling a poor woman in the bar. I saw Colin at work two days later. I went straight to him, asking him to please pass on my deepest apologies to his sister. And that I was so sorry that I offended her so badly. Colin didn't say anything to me. All he did was take a step back and plant his steel toe cap work boot into my knackers. <laughs> so firstly, so firstly, fuck my life. And secondly, I suppose this is also a confession of sorts. And since we no longer have Mr. Pink around to do like the holy, holy forget forgiveness. <gasps> I know. Oh, would the right honourable minister evangelist Barn von Lurchmonster consider delivering me forgiveness for my actions? Oh, I'm close. Oh, Steve, I own the moon, Steve. Steve. Have you not heard, Steve? I own the oh, moon. Aye. Before we get like uh, grew. Before, yeah. we, before we yeah. have, before we have, before we have Lurchy deliver his uh, his penance to Robert. Did you notice that he's obviously deliver his what? Sorry, a penance. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's he's obviously a minister. He's also a laird of Glencoe twice. Uh, laird of Loch Arbor as well. He owns oh, the aye. moon, and he's also a fucking registered evangelist, and also I believe as well. Uh, what else were you? I'm a baron. A baron, but there's also the sash one as well. Was, uh, um, yeah, I can do weddings. And I'm now fat. <laughs> can you actually say this to do weddings? That's hilarious. Isn't okay, it? I, funny I, if, you're a, if you're needing an exorcism, I've got special exorcisms this week. I think, yeah, are there, is, is Chris Mack and, is, and the crust not getting married? So in, in like a couple of weeks? Yeah. Oh. And then I've you been could invited. Save them a fortune. I've been invited to. <laughs> I, I've been invited I to. Very, oh. very, very foolishly. <laughs> Thought I'd replied, but thanks to my strokey brain, I'd not. So, <laughs> so then, uh, I are we all going? I, I'm, I'm totally going. I'm going. I'm going. Let's record a sneaky show. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I'll probably only go for an hour or so because we're just coming back from a, a trip away. But uh, you'll get there. parked right at the door, though. Absolutely, Lurchy, you need Limping to go on in. Dress. You'll get to use the big lobby. Absolutely, I. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you know, know what I noticed the other day? Every every disabled toilet I've ever been into has a full length mirror. Which is like really ironic because half those cunts can't stand up. Checking, I'm like what the fuck? Checking out your threads. I know. I'm like, why is it? It's almost a bit of an insult. Like, why is it in the length? Every time I go in, it's like got the biggest job I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it does. The fair curl the moot like. They well, they're do. Probably, they're, they're, and there's never is, and there's never a fucking choppy life either. As well, you can get a, <laughs> well, or, or a co hanger. You can get a hack it up with. When no, you're no. walking about, you're probably smooshing it about and softening it up in there. Eh? Uh, Whereas, you know, oh, they're, just they're static. Like, yeah. I told you about the Your big cunts. jobby before on the show, but at my work, the big massive jobby someone left in the shitter. Matty, gone, Matty had a fucking face. A, my bit, a bit it was Matty as well. Someone went before me to the lobbies and had left a thing. It was so big, it was three quarters of the water because it was so it was big. A gasping for air. And, I, <laughs> and of course, I then go to the cubicle. I'm like, oh, fair fucks, oh, fair. And you can't flush it away like, well, I'm gonna have to leave and use another cubicle. Yeah. But there's like there's now behind me about four folk come in behind me. I'm like, well I can't I can't leave here now because they'll think that's mine. Yeah. You see? So I have to wait, I'm in there with this fucking thing, I stinking, three quarters of the way of the water. <laughs> like in the bed in your handbag and thinking, what do I do here? Do I put it in my pocket and maybe put <laughs> a bin up this, you know? <laughs> And, uh, and then when I finally left then someone went right in behind me I'm like oh for fuck's sake and then of course the word in the middle was ha 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 fatty huge shots <laughs> huge a, shots thing was so big he had to climb off oh for have you ever had one sake. of them poops right it's so big for your bum hole that your bum hole acts like a fish out of water to try and get back to size it goes oh I've never I've never like the facial accent there I've never I've never I scored over a mirror to look. Oh, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> but then it returns to size, and you're like, oh my god. And then you stand up and look at it, and it's near there. I've, I've never, I hate I've it, never scored there. over a fucking I, mirror. I hate it. They're near there. I, I had rabbit poops like the other week. Did you? Yeah. For. No, On toast. That'd be a Malteser scenario. Not oh, I just think I hate it there. Give them to the go. <laughs> <laughs> We 
with a with a guy at work. I, I think I missed this incident actually, but I have heard the story a couple of times. He um, it was a larger chap. <laughs> like and he actually, I've met, Why did you look at me with that? <laughs> because he's a larger chap. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so this guy, I've seen him a couple of times, and he actually looks like. Have you seen Puss in Boots? <laughs> when yes. The, when the egg puts on the fucking stretchy shoot suit, and you can only really see his face. And he sort of ties it up a bit. So he's that, got a thumb heed. Oh. That's that guy's face. Like John McGuire. He, like. he actually <laughs> looks like the egg. Have you seen scene? He looks like the egg for Puss in Boots. It's the filter he puts on it. Oh, <laughs> oh it's love the filter. Loves the filter. See the, um, the cut in the hut? Yes. No. Um, the cut in the hut. Uh, across the road bay made me watch it but I'm going through his phase where I the live I'm, action one the Mike Myers Mike one. Myers okay, I'm going yes. through his phase where I like analyse films because I've been right. watching a lot of Stanley Kubrick oh, there's okay. a lot of like symbols and not fucking films right. right so I'm watching The Cat in the Hat and I was a bit baked and I'm going oh, she goes I love his film it's so funny and I'm going it's about child abuse <laughs> it's what the kids get the bad touch he's invented this imaginary character the cat because the fucking stepdad's battering him and he's going to build up the strength through the cut, and then the cut disappears every time an adult's a bit. Oh, I'm fucked, boys. Oh, oh Steve, right. you're breathing heavy yeah. on the microphone. So oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. oh, sorry. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even, you know, this heavy breathing's came about because I don't go to the gym anymore. <laughs> and you're stroke. <laughs> Even when I'm static, I'm just. <laughs> Stop it that much. So. But you know, it's a look with. So <laughs> <laughs> I saw your film. I've never the, seen the, the film. Can't, no, I, I, the kid getting the bad touch. I, how, do you, how do you know this? Honestly, watch it, right? I've it's seen a, it before. It's a Dr. And Zeus. And no point I thought, about oh, a pedophile going on there. But, but it's Dr. Zeus, though, like the l- l- thoriax, I forget what it's called. Ah, the, the lorax. Ah, it's l- the thoriax, isn't it? The thoriax. Certainly if Steve's got a hole in. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> so, uh, my, uh, uh, if it was Donald Trump's America, he would have got away with grabbing her by the pussy. <laughs> right, okay. So he needs a Republican state. The fucking... Right. <laughs> That's where you got out from the Steens for his troubles. We were watching, uh, obviously over the over the period there, they had they showed all, all the Shrek movies. Oh yeah, and uh, Shrek Four, of course, you know has. Uh, oh my God! Right, okay. That, that fucking Carter who looks at me, see me <laughs> Shrek. And um, whenever it's <laughs> Princess on, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. Could look like Rumpelstiltskin. Well, the gingerbread man and fucking <laughs> Brogan. Can't say it's Brogan. And I guarantee my well, films on TV. My phone will beep at least three, four times. Good folks in. Ha 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 ha! Fatty, you're on TV. You green prick. You know, <laughs> fucking. Oh, the, the Apprentice. We were listening to like a random Spotify playlist the other day because we're fucking bored of music. Right. And he goes, he puts on the Shrek soundtrack. Oh, nice. And um, oh, it's fucks a song. A song come on, and he's like, um. Shrek's wife and kids have left him, and he's so happy, and he's like, "Dad, what this fucking song?" He's got, he goes, "Oh, it's that song that Shrek walks to," and he's like, "Fucking did it?" And he's walking like that. And I'm going, "I bet you, if when I go home and watch that, it's nothing for it's like." Right. Because he sang um, the film about Nelson Mandela. Uh, it was about fucking Morgan Freeman's in it. He says, "Oh, that's a, you like watch that film? It's great." The same person. They go, <laughs> they go pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. And honestly, they're sitting the free out. They go free. Nelson Mandela oh yes right? and he played that song that sounded fuck all like it right <laughs> and I'm going I bet you Shrek things didn't like it and he sent me the link to the clip and the only thing he had right was Shrek's teeth really <laughs> the only thing he got right was the impersonation of Shrek's teeth for fuck's sake <laughs> fuck so when was the last time we did any sort of like content oh, um, not necessarily this show. me myself me this show, show, it's, like, yeah. it's been a while because I mean I think the last last Couple of years has been free flowing. Last couple of years has been yeah. shows. I just so, basically. <laughs> so we, we haven't discussed Naked Martin, have we? No, we. Ha- oh, we <laughs> haven't discussed Naked Martin. What the fuck? This is the best. Well, I see the best thing. It's 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 as equally wonderful as it's, it's it's horrifying. Horrifying. Right. Yes. it is horrifying. That horrifies you the most about him. For me, it's that fucking Biffy T. I've never, I've it's never noticed it's just fucking I'll tell you what horrifies me the most <laughs> was him bung on Twix his arsehole than eating it well, so I, okay wait, oh, we're, we're, no, there's worse videos than that we're going a bit too far here okay so what happened was was uh, Steve <laughs> sent me a picture and it was a a, a naked man <laughs> holding a sign a saying hello Martin. to the DHB and like what the fuck is this Steve give us a bit of backstory here what, what you found so let's go back to this character Chris Mathers who visits the shop <laughs> Right. <laughs> he comes him. into work. Guys, have you heard of this naked Martin? Naked Nobody's heard of him. Martin. Everyone's kind of laughing. And it's a guy who, for free, don't ask me how Mathers got hold of this because I don't know. Um, but this guy, well, if you WhatsApp him, right. say to him, right, I want this message, he might come back to you and say, 
what pose would you like? But sometimes he just goes, you know, creative and, and does right. whatever he wants. But he freestyles. Would you like pose yeah. A, B, or C? Yeah. So he'll he'll pose naked so, with a little whiteboard with whatever message you've asked for. Uh, and send you the picture. And it's no holes barred. I mean, yeah, it's like the whole part. yeah, the whole shooting match. The sometimes he's like, do you want cock? Do you want balls? Do you want, <laughs> do you want bum hole? You know, he's, he was got his cake hole yoked open. Oh, hi. It's fucking he, awful. And it's, you can't help but stare into the eye of the bits. And he properly <laughs> he draws like, the eye. The two hands right. pulling the arse apart so you can oh, get yeah. a good view it. Oh, oh aye. Aye. He makes sure you get the My the favourite whole, pose is the, the Ben Keevy pose. The, oh, aye. yes. <laughs> Souls of the feet, the bum hole. <laughs> it's, how about, see, now you told me about him. Yes. And you said, you, you need to message him and ask him for some photos. But I'm like, how the fuck do you open a line of conversation? Well, I thought that too. I thought, how do you how do you say, oh, hey, by the way, I believe you get your arse loaded for photographs. Steve, though, was straight in. I feel oh, like. Hi. But Steve, didn't didn't you go for like the super kind of like... It's uh, like ordering a doctor noodle. Super. Can I get a fucking, a, a, a number A with uh, the cake hole? <laughs> Souls of feet, cake Christmas hole, hot. maybe a bit of yeah. shot, that'd be great. My favourite one so, that I see so was... Steve, how do, you, how do you open up uh, communication? Channel of communication. Well, if you give me two seconds, here we go. He's stored under N. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> N. Martin, okay. Buzz is, buzz is uh, uh, now, I was as polite as I could be, because I thought, you know, this guy's doing... Some some intimate moves yes. here. Let's be polite. Okay. So I said, hello, Martin. I got your number from a friend. He says you were very professional and accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> professional <laughs> and accommodating. <laughs> the man shot at a Twix <laughs> bar. <laughs> for fuck's right. sake. So I said, I hope you can help me. I said, I have three friends I'd like messages for. I realise it's quite an ask, so I will understand if it's not an option. They're all the same message, but just addressing three different people. And then it was for some pals who we've got an ongoing thing where we say, you're at it to each other. Right, okay. Yeah. So that then gets sent, and he came back, hey, yes, of course I can. I'm not sure about the professional bit, but I enjoy doing naked messages if that's what you're after. Tracy, you're at it. And then I got my three messages. So I said, what an absolute hero. Thank you so much. <laughs> So sorry, sorry. So we, we conversed a little bit, and I got a few more for guys at work and stuff like that. There's, there's a the guy that gave me that sound clip. Yes, uh, he's got a saying. Just you now, I'll say it in the local accent. Some people might not get this. Right. D what you can D. It's all you can D. Right. It basically says do do what you can do. It's all you can do. It's all you can do. Yes. So, so I got that obviously, and that's it? that's got, got cock balls and bum hole in it. <laughs> right. Um, you know, and then he actually sent through one. And he's like, look, you can send this to your pals, and, it, and it's the message on his board. It says request a naked Martin message on WhatsApp, and then it gives his number, which I'll just throw out there. It's business. Zero you, seven seven. Well, six, listen. Six. Let, let me let me type <laughs> in the chat room here. <laughs> all right. Right. Okay. So what is it? It's zero seven seven six six six. Oh, I don't do sense. Zero seven seven. His, f- his fingers six, are stuttering. Right. Three. Hold on, I need to zoom in. Oh, oh my no, God. not that bit. Three zero seven. Three zero seven. Three one eight. Three one eight. Yeah. Uh, right. Listen, I'm gonna hit send. Right. It's now in the uh, in the chat room. Pure naked. Uh, in the Martin. chat of the Facebook here. Uh, we'll be sitting there with his husband. Everyone now go and message Nick and Martin saying. You know, poor Mark. Don't everyone message him all at once because we might scare him off. But he's be polite. There, he's sitting there with Mr. Naked Mark. No, before... watching the Great British Bake Off. His phone's about to go mental. <laughs> but, <laughs> right, please, before everyone goes messaging him, be warned. Right. This guy doesn't only just send naked messages, he also has known for a, a viral video that went round of him sticking a Twix up his bum mm-hmm. and then eating it. So, the fav- I, I heard of him from my sister. Your my sister, sister right. all about him, which didn't surprise me. See, Lar- see, Stevie. Well, you you think the Lord's nay right? His no, sister's no, also nay right. Excellent. Sister- Excellent. Oh, apples. She's Why she's. Did I open that? My my Sorry sister that. once uh, didn't want to get out of the shower because she was nay female, so she just squatted over the plug hole and shot doing it, <laughs> and then stabbed. <laughs> is, that not, is that not what they call a waffle stomp? St- yes. And yeah, then yeah. stabbed it with the fucking heel of her her fucking toe. Now, How'd you do? She, uh. she said the best one she sent me was naked Mark with the soles of his feet and his cake hole pulled apart. At Owen Bruce, do you want mince and tatties for supper? Cheers, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Excellent. But, but this then, is our description of him. There's a group of loons here that added him to a group chat, and he started pouring tins of stew and steak over his head and putting Twixes up his shitter to <laughs> amuse them. Ha 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 But didn't you see like he's he's like a he's like a married man? He's, he's a gay man. Yeah, he's, well, he's got a husband. He's yeah. a gay, seemingly... This is what you said because my sister's got like uh, <laughs> she's got like a touch of the fucking Glaswegian about her. She's never been to Glasgow in her life. Right, okay. Right. Right. She's only ever drunk a tin iron brew. He's a gay old money who puts pictures of his cake hole all over Twitter and his husband his nay idea. 
How does his, his husband not mind. know? He's always an older husband, isn't he? It must be, surely. Like, or a bit he don't. Illiterate. But you got a couple from my mum for her birthday. No! <laughs> from your mum! Happy birthday, mum. Love, Rachel. That's gold. <laughs> Excellent. It's his fucking tea, though. Look at that tea. I haven't noticed his toe. I've never noticed the toe. Oh, it's the first yeah, thing yeah, I look at. Look at the Happy storm, birth- <laughs> so your sister sent a naked man to your mother. And I got two, because normally if my brother texts me, I just put the letter I in lowercase. I. That's I. That's how I do. <laughs> okay. kind of like You're the me, worst. You'll send me like a big, massive paragraph, and I'll just put I. <laughs> or I'll send him a photo of my eye. Yeah. So I've got Naked Martin. You should use the Incredibles couple of logo. Eyes. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Go. Creative. Yeah, Intel as well. Spices yeah. it up. Yeah. So, how did we've you obviously... Get to know him? I was like, it was through Steve. Yeah. Through Steve. So, yeah, so this is kind of... We got a leaving message for a last at work. Right. It was our leaving do combined with the Christmas night out, so it was, you know, it was like, all the best in your new position. You know, um, <laughs> here's mine. Kick all the wind. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> you know? and, yeah. So, so Nick and Martin. But there's like the guy at work who who also sent me the sound clip. His I think his brothers or, or maybe one of his pals was messaging Nick and Martin, seeing how far they could push him. Right, just being right, clatty bastard. Yes. And although I have I haven't got the video because I didn't want it. To be honest with you, it's disgusting. As far as I'm aware, this guy pissed and shat in a bucket, shwheeled it about, and poured it over himself. Oh, jeez. Uh, 07843008933. If you message Naked Scotty, he sent your voice. <laughs> Wait, which Scotty is that? <laughs> oh, why is that? <laughs> He's just giving it my fucking number. Excellent. That fucking show. I'll be getting edited. That's out. my fucking number. I'll be getting edited out of the double clap. Be the lead seal there. Not as well. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I swear, I, if I get so one fucking number, that's if I get number. one fucking toodle, I'll tell you right now, I'm going to kick off. Fucking. You can't believe other people's dodgers. Unbelievable. Oh, oh dear. Naked Martin. Yeah. Uh, so, gentlemen, before we before we wrap things up, get, get, get a bit. Get It's getting a bit. Before we get to our bed. You get your bed! I know I'm going. You're losing your mouth! Get your bed! God, that's got a pot. Get your bed! 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 Get how well is this email? Across the road, Bay sounds like a fucking legend for getting her arsehole put in a t-shirt for Lurch. Get her on the show. Oh, Come, we'll be naked, the show. oh naked Karen. <laughs> naked Karen. <laughs> naked Karen. <laughs> the, only time I've, the only time I've ever had arseholes in a shirt was back when I bought a shirt in the DHB store with Steve Scott Mr. Pinknett. What a collection of arseholes and cunts they were. Now fuck off and make more shows, you cunt faces, from Jerry LaBelle. Nice. That's Jerry, that's all good to hear. I should have worn my Westlife t-shirt for tonight. Your Westlife oh, t-shirt. Oh, seen that? No. Gold. I got a West t-shirt. Westlife t-shirt. And it's got Rose and fucking Fred West. <laughs> oh. On the well, oh, nice. Not I... only that, but I wore it to a works night out at Cadona's. <laughs> you know where other kids go if I can play games and stuff. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Just wanted to say I've, recently, I've, re- I've really enjoyed hearing some of the new guests recently. Tessington is awesome. I love her. Sandy and Marty and their pettiness are great too. But is there any chance we'll still see any of the old gang again? Hello. I really miss the likes of Steve. Hello, again. Coops and Maynard. Coops can get fucked. I even miss Pink and Forbes too. What happened to them? Coops Coops has now got thin and doesn't speak to anybody. She's like, I'm thin now, I'm too good for you fatties. She hates us now because we're fat. Loves Elena. (laughs) Pink's gone and Forbes is dead. Is Forbes still dead? No, still dead. He's still dead. (laughs) Anyway, Let me know if his condition changes. Uh, thanks for still making shows. Any chance of doing a live one, I would totally drive up from Dundee for that. Hugs from Sarah B. That, that's been like three mentions so far of uh, Mr. Pink on the show. I'm sure if you, if you see his name like five times in the mirror, he comes and calls you a cunt. <laughs> you know? So it's like, it's like, you know, fucking, uh, it's like, what's it called? Not Beetlejuice. Fucking, um, Candyman. Candyman. That's it. He appears behind you, goes a cunt. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> and leaves. <laughs> So yeah, I, I still think we should do a live show. We spoke before, but uh, maybe right, a, minus time last year we spoke Palooza. about Lurcher Palooza. I know. <laughs> I still want to do it, but we're not busy. Who God, knows? we're so, so busy. We're so yeah. fucking busy. Can we hire um, Cadonas? Because Cadonas need hire higher, like the boardwalk bay for fucking zombies at Halloween time and shit. I do. All the I have no idea. Apparently, if you're called you. Jason, they'll let you in for free. What? Just tell everyone I'm sure. my name's Jason. Have you got any idea? Maybe no, I need to take my word for it. We're needing to. What we need to do is get a venue. 
And um, we, we need a venue. We need to get. Well, you're going to do a comedy act. Uh, yeah. A I'll ten minute at least set. You've got it already set. Had it written in for a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe we spoke about it last year. Yeah, we did. Right? <laughs> I got a t-shirt. You know, you spoke about a t-shirt. I got. Aye. You know the Metallica "Kill 'Em All." Yes. I got a Barry Manilow Copacabana Mall to the Metallica <laughs> album. <laughs> My bestest t-shirt ever. Amazing. Next day, Carmen's bum hole. <laughs> and June's I can see why that June's would be a tough choice. Yeah. June's lum's the best thing. My mum puts it on the fucking radiator. Right. Uh, and I'm doing walks into the house. It's like, fucking the wonderful. fuck is that? Yeah. It's sick. Right. Her cake hole. Good and times. Lum. <laughs> fair, <laughs> fair bit of talk about buttholes in it, yeah? It's a fair bit of cake. It's been a, 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 a right dirty fucking show. It's been there, there. It's the hell night, yeah? day. Uh, with a little gem heart on it. So it looks like she's got a bit of jewellery instead of a bum hole. You got her a plug for her pooper. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. And I went, right, brace yourself. <laughs> 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 I bejazzled that bum hole. Are you scared because you push too fast it goes right in? And she falls off the edge of the bed. <laughs> oh, just make her bed really quick. <laughs> you just make her wear your wrestling belt back the front. Oh, no, I don't shut her. Less, oh, you Less, you'll, never get, you'll never get the poop particles out of two No, well, you gems. fuck. Although I need a photo of me and Maynard with that belt. Oh, Maynard yeah. holding the barman box. <laughs> me with the belt on. Fucking, fucking Virgil. He's up. I would be hard, hard cash to see that one as well. I would love it. Um, folks, I think we're going to call things a wrap tonight. If I think that's where it's we're, a wrap tonight. It's, oh, I oh, prefer see. a baguette. Baguette the fuck. <laughs> Get the fuck. Get your bed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to do it. I've, I'm sorry. I've got to do it again because it's fucking gold. I never even got permission to do that. I know I'm going. Get your bed. Don't. Get your bed. Get your bed. Get your bed. You're, you're losing them up. It's the less we are losing me. It's Golden fucking it. wonderful. Uh, folks, thank you for being part of tonight's show. Uh, Steve, thank you for coming back again. It's been great to having you. You're Support welcome. our Patreon so we can get a new laptop because uh, Leveno P- F- uh, Freeman's fucked. I think, I think <laughs> we're going to... Leveno Patience. Leveno Patience. <laughs> fucking thing. I Freeman think we're going to set up a fucking pa- a Patreon site. Uh, just giving... Well, yeah. yeah, where you can help us buy new shit for the show. Can yeah. I get new one for, for new fucking costume changes? You can get fucked. Fuck you can't, can't believe you. Yeah. I think, like a, you I think a new laptop. You spent the whole that. show fixing your hair, I fixing know. your baldy heat. The bald cap gets flinging off because I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you need to take it off? <laughs> Got it completely. Got, I've made it out of the way. Jesus Christ. The last fucking five minutes. Now. Folks, if you want to be, uh, obviously, be part of the show, you can email in. Go to dhbradioshow forward slash dot com forward slash contact uh, where you can get in touch with the show. Uh, of course, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash dhbradio. <clears throat> you can, uh, obviously, um, fuck off, uh, yeah. Steve. You can obviously get to your bed. <laughs> get to your bed. Do you want to say before we go? What, same time next year? Yeah. Yes, please. No, <laughs> no, uh, good night to Tracy. I think she's in the chat room. So hello, oh, Tracy. She's nice. Lovely, lovely Tracy. She's lovely. Lordy Perchy, and we will see before you go. Nay, nee, really. No, fuck it. <laughs> Nay, nee, nee, really. <laughs> uh, folks, if you've got any ideas to help us help us organise a fucking live show, a venues, or or what we can do, give us a shout about that as well. And uh, hopefully, we'll record more shows in the next couple of weeks. I think we've got some. I'm off for a few days, so we'll maybe get a few more shows recorded. Um, on, well, apart from that, I think that's pretty much fucking it. We're done for the evening. I'm going to go home now and get, and, uh, get my fucking bed. Uh, to the loo, motherfuckers. Good night, good bless. It's been get lovely. Get your bed! I my titties are sweating. There we go. That's the show recorded on the uh, on the mobile. I keep forgetting that we're live day. for a while. We're, we're still live. We're still live right now as well, of course. Um, we are, however, going to kill the live feed. So, folks, uh, you get to your bed. Get to your bed. Get to your bed. We've had a fair fucking audience tonight. Thank you very much for hanging around. Uh, we've had like like thirty odd folk at one uh, at some points of the of the show as well. So, um, it's been great having you along. Um, I am going to work on improving this camera feed because that looks like tight quality completely tonight. So. It's maybe the lighting actually. Maybe the lighting's getting boosted by the. I'll figure it out. But uh, when we get our we'll new laptop, we'll figure it out when we go to start the next show. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, toodaloo for new. It's been emotional. Uh, can I go bless? Steve, Steve, all right. Steve, in a show. Everyone wave. Oh. Everyone wave. We're saying goodbye. Bye. Get your beds. Get your beds. I don't think the microphones are on, are they? Oh, they're so on, yeah. Oh.